we we did some statistical research, which we already knew, and in uh, in games where we've allowed 70 or more, we're, we've, we've lost 40 times. We're 25 and 40 in games that we've allowed 70 or more. And we've only lost, I think, 70 times since I've been here. In games that we've allowed 70 or less, we've won 80% of the time. And in games we've allowed 65 or less, we've won 88% of the time. So we knew we had to stop giving up as many points and we knew that it's not only related to defense, but it's related to offense. So that if you're playing a lot of defense the whole entire game and you're running and shooting it quick, you know, you're not going to play very good defense. And then we've had problems at the three spot guarding, which showed again tonight when we, we had them on the ropes and then Brett struggled through a couple screens late in the clock and Thomas shot threes. So I decided to play bigger, which I've been toying with all year. I just. Never thought Brett McKnight was in good enough shape to really. And Nick played great defensively. He did an outstanding job on Austin Calhoun. And then when we switched him on to Thomas, he did a really good job. So, you know, obviously I've, I'm a baseball guy too. And I felt like a closer that, you know, blew about three saves. You know, you lose a little confidence, you lose your edge a little bit. Not only as players, but coaches. You know, anybody, any coach that tells you they don't. You know, they don't have any self-doubt is lying. And uh, so I felt like this was a big game from that perspective, you know, to be able to, to close it out, basically.